Hey, do you struggle with playing licks over a backing track? Well, if you do, then you're in the right place because I've got three tips to show you how to play licks over a backing track. And that's coming up. Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. Hello and welcome to Your Guitar Guide, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If you're struggling with playing licks, then I've got some tips here that you don't want to miss. If this is your first time at the channel, have a look around. Consider subscribing if you like what you see for more guitar tips and tricks. And for all of you that are already subscribed, thanks for your support. A lot of times a backing track will say, okay, we're playing a slow blues in the key of A, but if you don't know how to find the key of A, then it doesn't matter how good your chops are. If you're throwing down licks in the wrong key, then it's going to sound like... So first, let's take a look on how we know what key we're in. By the way, stick around to the end where I'll give you the complete guide of how to play licks with the backing track. And stick around to the end so you can get that. The best way to figure out what key you're in is to know the notes on the fretboard. And I've got a course over at yourguitarguide.com. The link's in the description if you're interested in learning all the notes and a lot more. It's on sale now. But for right now, let's turn on a backing track. And let me show you how you can do it. It's going to take a little bit longer than if you already knew the notes. Alright, so we're playing a backing track in the key of A. How do we find A if we don't know the notes? So we're going to start up here. It could actually be open E string. We're going to work our way up. So you have to have some good ear training. In the beginning it's a little tricky until like everything else practice and your ears will hear it. Is that it? Doesn't sound anything like it. Let's try that. No. Is it the same pitch? No. Oh wait. I think we found the A. Same pitch. So now we need a road map on what notes we can stay in the parameter to stay in the same key and make it sound good. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll start out with the uh, pentatonic scale. And the A minor pentatonic. We're starting out on the fifth fret of the sixth string. We're stretching way over here to the 8th fret. And then we've got 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. Starting out, that's our road map. We're going to stay between the 5th fret and no further than the 8th fret. So starting out, we want to memorize 5, 8, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8. We're going to play over a backing track just by using five and eight. So we want to stay in rhythm with it.
staying within that roadmap. Let's add some blues notes to it. When we add a blues, we're staying in that parameter. And we're adding a blues note. So we're playing five, eight, five, six, seven. So this six is a blues note. Five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, eight, five, eight. So we've got eight and six. Adding two notes lets you play a lot more variety. So let's try it again. Stay within that parameter. So you can see if you stay within the parameters, you can do a lot of different things. And it sounds good because you're in the right key. Now if you want to move up the neck, then check out that video right there where I show you how to take the pentatonic and extend it up the neck. Another good way to play licks and learn rhythm and playing the licks is by using a looper pedal. With my trusty looper pedal, I've got the rhythm going on, and then I can just play some licks over the backing track. If you're playing with the looper pedal, you know what key you're in because you're the one putting the rhythm in there. So I would recommend playing with the looper pedal. That way you can practice rhythm and the lead at the same time. And the one that I recommend is the Ditto Looper Pedal. There's a link in the description for it. If you like this video, can you give it a thumbs up? Leave me a comment. And I said earlier I would tell you about the complete guide to playing licks over backing tracks over at yourguitarguide.com. Check the link in the description for that. And don't forget to watch that video there. Thanks.